liberty and freedom that you have given us. We thank you that we can carry you everywhere we go. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the dwelling place of God. And we thank you that we can carry you everywhere we go. We can touch the lives of people all around us. We can change the lives of people all around us. If we truly walk in freedom of Jesus Christ. Even tonight, give us a, a bigger dose of freedom. Freedom in our minds. Freedom in our minds from lies. To be free. Church of Jesus Christ, a glorious church that walks in freedom. 
freedom. She walks in freedom and she carries freedom everywhere she goes. A burning church. A burning church. We're decreeing a burning church. Burning church in this age. Oh, we're maturing. We're rising up. We're burning. And there's more of us now. And there's more of us now. And this move of God, it's contagious. It's contagious. It's contagious. It's contagious. It's contagious. It's going all over the nations. It's going all over this region. Everywhere. Everywhere. Every little corner on this earth. We're decreeing kingdom is coming. Kingdom is invading. Kingdom is advancing. All over this earth. All over this earth. We're decreeing kingdom days. We're decreeing kingdom days.
raise up messengers burning wants that would go all over the earth and preach the gospel of the kingdom gospel of Jesus Christ so that nations can respond in the correct way nations can respond to the invitation Lord we believe that we could be the generation that sees your coming if we could just respond in the right way Lord send out laborers into the field send out laborers into the field
words of wisdom but they were in demonstration of the Holy Spirit and power which is approved by the Spirit and power of God operating on me and stirring in the midst of my hearers the most holy emotions and thus persuading them so that the faith of men might not rest in the wisdom of men right but in the power of God we're stepping into a time where we, we're really going to see a demonstration of power of Holy Spirit, power of God. And Paul, he talked about that. And I really feel like right now it would be a good time to just make some decrees and just decree this time coming where we no longer have to hear stories of other people. We will have our own stories where God will use us right Holy Spirit demonstration of the kingdom power of God and Holy Spirit Lord we know this time is upon us where you are releasing your power in the earth for demonstration that you are real that you are alive and that you're coming down you're coming to take over the nations because you're the rightful king king of every nation you're the king of this earth the lord we're just decreeing and prophesying that we're a generation that going is going to see greater works greater works we're a generation that's going to see greater works we're gonna walk in power we're gonna walk in power we're gonna be consumed by the holy spirit possessed by the Holy Spirit fully possessed by the Holy Spirit a church that will be fully possessed by Jesus Christ even now Lord touch us give us a revelation of what that looks like 
that we can begin to move in that way. Give us a visitation. Visitation outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That we would be baptized with Holy Spirit and power. Release a visitation upon your church. Acts 2 visitation. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a manifestation of power. Manifestation of fire. Like we've never seen before. Like we've never experienced before. Release your power. Release your mind. First to the church. Baptize us. First to the church. Come to the church. Come to your church. Baptize us in Holy Spirit and power. Holy Spirit and fire. Baptize us. Release fresh fire. Outpouring. First in the church. So that we can take it to this world. Release it to the church, Lord. Visitation. 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 Release a visitation. Release an awakening in the church. Outpouring that we would not be sleeping. That we would not be complacent. That we would not be satisfied. That we would become hungry again. That we would burn again. Release it, Lord. Outpouring. Outpouring. We need more than words, Jesus. And this is what you want. Right now we're praying out of your desires. We're praying out of your heart. This is what you want. This is what you desire. That we would not just speak words, but there would be genuine power. Genuine power from heaven upon the words that we speak. That our words would be anointed. That our words would be like the sword. Anoint our words. Release fire upon our words. Release authority. Greater authority. That we walk in greater authority. Release authority. Fullness of the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit that was upon you, Jesus that would be upon our church would be upon your people the same Holy Spirit the fullness of the Holy Spirit the seven spirits of God that we would walk in the fullness of God that our words would carry weight would cause atmospheric shift would break things, dismantle things, displace things, rebuild, restore, deliver. Give us power in the word. Give us power in the word to declare your message. wisdom of man and philosophy of men and different doctrines and theologies and theories Lord that they would follow you they would hear your voice in the midst of us crying out that there would be something so real so authentic it's a sword that would cut through anoint the words anoint the words
regions. Give us power to shake regions, cities. Speak through us. Line of the tribe of Judah, roar through your church. Roar through your church. Let them hear the sound of heaven. Let them hear the sound of heaven. Let them be on the, let them hear that frequency. Feel that frequency of heaven. Something supernatural. Something supernatural. That they would be awakened. And know that something real and something authentic is happening. We're tired of powerless Christianity. We're tired of just hearing the words. We want to hear words of Jesus. We want to see Jesus manifesting. Jesus manifesting. Let men move to the side. We want to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus in the spotlight. Let men move to the side. We want to see Jesus. And we will not settle for anything less than Jesus. We will not settle for anything less. We're not going to settle for men. If God can come down in the times of Moses in the desert, and people could see God with their physical eyes, that's the Old Testament. Now why are we settling now under a better covenant? Why are we just settling for men? Yes, God uses men. But we want Jesus. We want Jesus. We want to see Jesus. We're okay with being in the shadows, Jesus, you take the spotlight. We're okay with standing back, Jesus, you take the first place. You're the rightful owner. You're the master of all things, master of all realms. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge.
for putting us in this place for such a time as this. Thank you, Lord. You know, we had a good prayer today, but, you know, don't let it stop here. I was just reminded of all the people that are in the fields, uh, missionaries and evangelists, many different ministers. There's many people that are in the fields. And, uh, you know, their, their job is not easy. You know, we're here, we're home, we, we got families, we're doing things, but um, pray for these people. You know, when you remember, you, you know, your prayers, they don't have to be like one hour long. If you want to, that's great, but even a couple of minutes, just bless the people that are out there, missionaries, you know, pray, God, give them greater grace, more power of the Holy Spirit. Um, these people need prayers. And there's also, like I'm seeing the young generation that's being raised up, a lot of them are, are called and set apart to go and be missionaries and prophetic evangelists and, and many, you know, different, different types of ministries being sent out. And um, it's like, they're just under attack. There's such a, there's such a fight. There's such a warfare around these people, a battle, and just, just pray for them that this, you know, this generation would rise up and take its place, you know, because a, a lot depends on new ministers, you know, being, rising up and being sent out, and just pray greater grace on them, break through over these people because. It's like, um, it's really difficult battles that these people are going through. I'm just seeing things and they need to overcome because a lot of people out there depend on, you know, for these people to rise up. So I don't know if I'm making sense. Am I making sense? You guys understand what I'm saying? So I feel like there's um, this burden for intercession for this, you know, next generation leadership. Um, we just need leadership. We need people that have really encountered Jesus face to face. You know, we need apostles, prophets, and the rest of the fivefold. We need missionaries. We need people. How are we supposed to bring in the harvest? You know, we could be praying here for decades, you know. But if we don't get, if people don't get sent out, 
this generation will not make a decision for Jesus, right? So there's got to be somebody out there. I understand there's people raised up to be intercessors. And, and that's what we do here. We just intercess that God would raise up people. I feel like that's the least we can do as Christians. Be, you know, if we're not the ones being out there, that here we are. We can intercess, like, you know, bring intercession before God and be here for these people. And um, so just something that's on my heart and i just encourage you guys if you ever remember this is serious i feel sometimes like we're just you know lo looking at my own life you know sometimes we just we don't take it seriously and then it just like hits you you're like man what are we doing like are we playing church what are we doing you know what i mean this is real this is real and it's like the lord looks at us and he depends on us he depends on his church you know, we're like partnering with him. And I just, I just want to, you know, be the one that helps him, you know, get that reward for the suffering, right? I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to be complacent. I just want, I want to burn and uh, just encourage you to stir yourself up. You know, don't get lazy. Don't be, don't get distracted. You know, you're running a race. Keep going forward. You know, eyes on the prize. Keep going forward and just remember that a lot is, is placed on this generation. A lot is, is placed on this church. You know, not just local church. I mean, in general, the church right now on the earth. And I believe we, we're living in amazing times. I believe th so many things are going to pop. Things that I think this earth has, has not seen. We're believing that. And that's what we're doing here. We're just declaring and prophesying. We're doing our job. <laughs> declaring the power of God coming. Declaring the fire of God coming. And the Lord... He, you know, he responds to prayer. And I like um, this phrase, you know, what goes up must come down. So however long it takes, God, you're going to release the fire. Eventually the fire will fall, right? Amen. And I think another good prayer would be God, you know, raise up a prayer movement all over the earth. I know there's many uh, different prayer movements. I know one big one in Kansas City, you know, um, IHOP. They're awesome there. But I feel like there's got to be more more people raised up as true intercessors you know standing before the lord and just crying out god release you know outpouring re release revival um somebody got to prophesy and declare over this generation and um man these people carry great power because they have the ability to shift atmosphere with prayer prayer is powerful it's dunamis power you you pray and you decree and stuff happens and so just be encouraged. Don't think that you, you know, you're worthless. Your prayers are not going anywhere. You know what? Just if you, if you feel weak, just get up and just do something about it. You know, we're called to be strong. We're called to, to burn. We're called to influence and affect and infect with the love of God and the fire of God. So thank you for coming out tonight. Um,